Peace and love. Blessings, my family. It's me, your queen, Nanaya Sankofa, in your area. This is I of Ancestors Kingdom. How are you doing? I hope you are blessed with the family. Welcome. Today, we are going to talk about a topic I've named that spirituality will always bring you back home. Spirituality will always bring you back home. When the journey starts, the first question that you start asking yourself is, who am I? What is my purpose? What am I doing here? What am I called for? And before you get answers to all these questions, you need to get back to your roots. You need to know what the calling is about. And having all these questions, it will lead you back to your roots, to your family. It is very important because sometimes most of the answers that we seek, it is at home. So when you get there, when you go there, when you go back home, that is where a lot of questions can be answered, can be answered. When you see a beautiful tree, let me talk about one of my best and my favorite tree, the baobab tree, you know, you see it very mystical very big very huge standing there very mysterious yeah but the real job is happening down as above so below down with the roots when the roots are strong no matter how strong the wind is whether hurricane whether whatever that it is these trees will always survive so in your case, so in our case, when your journey starts, the most important thing is like there is no spirituality that starts without you not going back home to find out who you are. You need to know who your ancestors are, when they were here, what they did, their calling. Because most of the time, when it comes to ancestral calling, it is something that our forefathers, our ancestors did. They left and we are continuing. I'm talking about their bloodline ancestors. A lot of us have a calling that is coming from our grandmothers, our grandfathers, our, our aunties, our fathers, our mothers who are gone on the other side already. So for you to get information, there are some of us who have traveled far. We are not, um, we are not home. We are in abroad somewhere. So when the journey starts or when you get to know that you have a calling, the best thing, the first step that I will advise you to take is get in touch with your family. Go and find out more about yourself. Go and find out more about your ancestors. Because a lot of questions, being so far away, a lot of people are even afraid to go back to the village where they are original, where they originally come from. They are always in the city. They don't go back. But there are some answers. You cannot just be sitting in the city and just talking anyhow, doing things anyhow. You need to find some answers. And those answers, you can only get it when you go back to your roots, to know more about your ancestors, to know more about your parents. And that is where you will be strong on your journey. That is where you understand some things. Otherwise, when the wind is blowing, it will be just shifting you here and there. So as I said today, the topic we are talking about is spirituality will always take you back home. So just be ready. It is very important when you, you are really willing to work with the ancestors. You need to go back. No matter what calling that you have, when it is a real calling and you will identify and you will know. And it's not that maybe you are drunk or used to same, uh, take some drugs and you are having some funny illusions. No. The real calling will take you back home. I'll stop here. There's going to be a part two. We'll continue there. Much love. It's me, your sister, your queen, Nanaya Sankofa, in your area on Eye of Ancestors Kingdom. Peace. Take good care of